Hey guys, welcome back to hopefully another vlog. I filmed a vlog for you um, this weekend and I got home to edit it and I had zero footage, not an ounce. I don't know what happened. I really hope this is recording. But anyway, I'm getting ready today for a workshop, an acrylic workshop. So I'm just setting up, like doing all the things. I took out the garbage. I'm gonna clean up some stuff. I'm going to get everything set up. I'm going to get like all of my like work sheets set up that I use, all the different products out because I like to show people like regular acrylic and then I like to show colored acrylic. I like to show cover acrylic versus clear or sheer pink because they work a little bit differently. What else do I need to do? I think that's about it. So I'm going to finish up that stuff. Hopefully maybe get a little bit of footage. And then I did a set of swatches for you guys with new colors that I got on the last video that didn't record. So I don't want to make the swatches again because I feel like swatches are such a waste of product to begin with that I don't want to do that again. But I got the lacket. I got a few lacket colors. So I got these lacket colors. So I already had, let me move my chair. I already had the black and the white. I got Province Rose. Mystic Night, Mauvulus, Mud Bath, and Olive Branch. So basically I got fall colors and I have more colors coming from the Nail Throne this week. I think they'll be here this week. So that will be super fun because I can't even remember what I ordered from her. Although I do know that I ordered a lot of loose glitters, so that's fun. Um, I redid my own nails this week. I had also filmed that, but again, that footage is gone. We're starting fresh, ladies. Hopefully I get this vlog up today. Today is Monday and I'm really hoping I get it up today, but it's hard to say if that might happen. I hope it does. But anyway, so I got my hair all chopped off. I don't know if any of you guys like follow me on Instagram. You've probably seen it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, okay, I gotta get cleaned up and drink my tea and eat my breakfast. <laughs> my acrylic workshop and it went better than expected. I love when a student comes in and they just really, really want to learn and they just catch it off the bat and they're enthusiastic. I love it. So that went so well. I was scrolling through Instagram trying to figure out like what I wanted to do for this week's vlog. I've kind of been putting little mini tutorials in them. I won't every time. It's just something that seems to be fun right now. I found a picture by Liza Winter and she does the most insane nail art. She's from Germany. If you haven't followed her, you should. It's Liza, L-I-W-I. -I. This, you can see it, is the picture. So it's like dark blue and gold and I really want to recreate this. I have dug out Glitter Bells, Cinnamon Spice, Chunky Gold, and Blue Velvet, and of course my glass slippers. Let's just see what we can do. Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial part of this video. I am starting in with Blue Velvet. Not really paying a whole lot of attention to my fade here because it is going to be covered, so I'm just building up the blue so that it's totally opaque and you can't see through it. And then I'm coming in with Chunky Gold. And it's a kind of a bit of a struggle in the beginning to get it situated, but it works out really well after a while. Using it just a little bit wetter, I think is a really good trick. And then finishing up with my blue velvet. I Blue velvet has my top favorite color. I love it. Here I'm using Cinnamon Spice and I'm doing the same kind of S curve that Liza did on hers. I really liked how that looked. And you just kind of bring your S around in a manner so that it hides the free edge. If in fact it can be seen, which it can on my red iguana hand. And then I'm coming in with the chunky gold over top of it. 
I'm just kind of trying to move the bigger pieces to where I want them. There's something about gold and navy blue that I just really, really love. So you're probably gonna be seeing a lot more of this from me. This is a marble between the cinnamon spice and the blue velvet. And I love, love, love how this came out. The pictures show it a little bit better than the video. I had trouble with trying to make it come through really clear on the video, but you kind of get the picture of how it does show up. These two colors marble beautifully. I was a bit scared that they might go a little bit muddy and that perhaps I should add in a little bit of white for contrast, but it ended up working out just fine this way. The index finger is entirely blue velvet and I end up coming in afterwards with my golden shadows in 5, 9, and 16. So those are the gems I'm going to use and I buy those from Nail Art Supplies here in Canada. I'm using my glass slippers now to do my coat, my clear coat over the color. I only actually show one nail because this is the same thing over and over making sure of course to get lots on that tip so that it's completely covered. These are what they look like before I file them. Again, looking at that marble, admiring the marble. So I'm putting on the golden shadow gems. I'm just doing them up kind of in the corner. I don't want them to like overpower the look. I am using my Ugly Duckling Sticket. And there is kind of an acetone stain on this nail. It does cover over later on. I had just wiped it with acetone and it kind of left that acetone stain. That's what I call it, acetone stain. <laughs> I'm not sure what you guys call them. And I do also use gold bullion too, to kind of make these gems look more like a jewelry setting. I really love it. And I'm so sorry that it went out of focus here a few times. But I'm trying really hard just to kind of pick up one. Sometimes that can be a struggle but it worked really well for me this time. So now is the great reveal with top coat. Of course, just mildly, mildly out of focus a little bit. I really, really love how these filed. I love how they look. I love everything about them and I hope you do too. Hey guys, so I'm back and I'm all done. The nails, I'm just taking the pictures of them right now, which is sometimes I think kind of the funnest part. It is super fun to take the pictures. Anyhow, if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'm more than happy to answer them. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the little bell because you never know when I'm gonna post. I try to post Monday and Wednesday. Sometimes the Wednesday, Wednesday doesn't happen. Sometimes the Monday like it did today gets a little bit delayed. So if you hit the bell, then you will be notified. If you have any ideas about stuff that you wanna see going forward, please put them down below or DM me on my liquid chrome nails Instagram and let me know what you want to see. Sometimes you guys have ideas and they're really good ideas and I really want to hear them. Bye.